Welcome to No Man's Sky Survival Mode. And here we are we're up on my refining area inside of my capital vessel because I've got a couple of frigate missions to cash in. I've got quite a lot of fuel which I've been making. So we should be able to kick off uh, at least three more missions to go out and explore just to keep the cash running in. But And in this part, what I want to do is just carry on the theme that I've been doing, exploring, getting things done. And just to talk about what I would really like to do is get in some Merchant's Guild missions. I mean, it says I need, well, 26 by the look of it, which could be interesting. But but I've already completed this one and this one. So if I could complete this before Beyond comes out, it'd be really great. And, and we've still got some other missions here. And of course, we've got all these milestones to complete. In some ways, this is like very much like an end of season wrap up, to be honest. Now, while I'm here, I want to talk about a couple of things. The first thing is, of course, is the uh, keynote speech that Sean Murray gave on the 9th of July to a conference in Brighton to developers. And I have to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed. I, was, I, was, I mean, I wasn't expecting a major reveal because that's what he wasn't at the conference to do. I mean, it wasn't a Hello Games event. He was talking to developers because I really feel that the content of the game needs to be refreshed and revitalized because one of the hazards of playing games like No Man's Sky where you've got a large open box go on and on is that I mean I've got over 200 hours in this Let's Play alone and this is my third playthrough since No Man's Sky came out in fact I think it might be the fourth actually where, where I've got over 200 game hours gameplay in a single playthrough and I think what happens is you get to a certain point in the game and everything becomes routine there's nothing fresh there's no no new content and you end up and you can start to become a little bit stale to be honest because the the interest of the game says oh yeah we're going to go in routine i'm not saying it's not fun to do but when you've done everything you've got the best possible ships you've got like me i've got i mean i've got over a thousand million credits so there's nothing in the game that i couldn't buy if i wanted to i've got my capital vessel i mean i could go and expand my base in the capital vessel here but there's it starts to develop an element of oh well, what's the point i can get any resources i want i can go to a terminal i can buy it i you know uh, and, and i think this is where the, this is where the game can start to get a bit stale and it's and it becomes more and more difficult to play in some ways i don't want to drag that out simply because well it's it's very much a matter of personal taste and gameplay i mean I'll be honest, guys. I mean, I, I play No Man's Sky to relax, and I, I do enjoy doing what I'm doing now, just going there. But I suppose I'm looking at it slightly from a YouTuber perspective that there's only so many videos you can do where you go down and explore a planet. And, and eventually, even I know you can tell by viewing figures on, on games, but uh, people start to lose interest. And, and I mean, I'm not in YouTube just to make viewers, so I'm quite happy to just keep making the content. I've, I've noticed it with other channels where they start doing like speculation videos or um, how-to videos but they don't actually show a continuous gameplay in the progression and I think that is a result of this the fact that the game gets to a point and, I, and, and they, they're starting to get bored with it despite the fact they say oh yeah I really like No Man's Sky and I like playing it but you can tell that there's an element of boredom creeping in and oh, that's just my opinion guys and I'm going to stop before uh, some of you guys start bombarding me with comments and, and feelings i mean um i'm not talking just about no man's sky i'm talking about i mean i, I i've i've had it in games like imperium uh well, all sorts of games to be honest guys that especially like rpg games i mean i've had it when i've played skyrim you get to a point and you think mm, yeah well it's it's fun playing but i'm getting a bit bored anyway that's enough of that now the next thing i want to talk about is based on a comment from somebody who Ask me a question. I'm not. I can't remember who they were, and it relates to these interior decor items, which when you get a capital vessel, you actually find them inside. And the annoying thing is, they they appear in the in here as part of the vaults. And if I, I don't know if I've got the resources to do it, I can't. Ah, great. Let me just see if I can make some antimatter. I don't know if I've got the resources to make the antimatter. Yes, I have. I'm just going to make a couple of antimatters. And I actually found this quite interesting. And what has that got? Just 
and bring the lock block back. If I put these out here, we'll just put a green one out as well. Oops, no. Now, when you put, first put these out, nothing happens. See here, like that. Now, these ones over here are part of what came with the, this capital vessel. And you can see you can actually click on them and get the items out of it for free. They're around exactly the same down on the planet. But here, when you first put them out, but if I come through here, and this is what intrigues me, and because it does seem to be random, I put two out of here to test it in the past, and you can see now what's happened is I can now get items from these containers, and it's almost like it takes a little while for them to register into the game. Maybe you've got to quit and save and come back or, or leave the capital vessel and come back. But these originally were exactly the same as the two that I've just deployed over there. But now I seem to be able to interact them. But more interestingly is that you can't actually store anything in these. And I think that's what the person was asking about. Because the only storage vault is this. And they are really predominantly decor with a small bonus. I mean, if it, any of you guys experienced any, another reason like that, but I, I mean, I mean, I put them out just to test it. I mean, I mean, I put them out just to test it. I mean, I'm, and just put a bit of decor in. I've got these stick out. I'm going to leave them here. I mean, just add a little bit of extra flavour to to the capital vessel. Yeah. So that's something I did want to talk about, and I think that's about it because I do want to get in and out and do a few things and what I'm going to do is now cash up these frigate missions so we're just going to come in here like this and debrief commander and we'll see what we're going to get here I mean this was a, a relatively short mission you can see the money's rolling in <laughs> got some this Ridra site well, that wasn't very good was it never mind we've got 1.5 million we've got some Ridra sites I think we can just jump that in the exosuit because we're going to sell that. And I'm just going to cut this mission here. So, interesting, the other interesting point I've found that since I've got these high level frigates going out on missions, I don't seem to take that much damage anymore as well. I do wonder a little bit whether the game starts to get a bit out of balance there. It's got some more erythrocyte, chromic metal. Cash, you've got loads of cash, magnetized ferrite, and wow, that was another short mission as well. And we got another 900, and it's gonna come in here. Uh, and, and I'm going to chop that into the exosuit when I've got so much magnetized ferrite and chroma, chromic metal in here at the moment. Just don't really don't know what to do it. You see, I've got loads of tritium because I actually found a trading station I bought. And this comes back to what I was saying, guys, is that in the early game when you don't have much cash, you can't afford just to pull up and buy several thousand uh, tritium in a trading station. You've got to go out and work it. And I think that's what keeps the game fresh and interesting is that element of survival. You've got to get the resources. I think once you can buy everything, things go do go a little bit stale. Actually, quite like that mission there. Um, I mean, I've never got a level four or level five mission yet. I don't know if that's actually part of the game. Right, this is a exploration mission. Well, we're certainly going to pick up a support freighter. Uh, we're certainly going to send out the exploration guy, and because we need a. I think we'll double down on the exploration and then send out probably my best combat ships as well. And I've got some explosive drones because I picked those water walker brains up and we've got them. Um, just gonna send that out. Um notice, can I make a, a compressor or anything else to go with this? mission and they've got a cobalt mirror okay make a cobalt mirror and what happened to the 
compressor. Yeah, mineral compressor. Drop that in as well. And if we make anything else. I mean, this has been this is a little bit unplanned, so I'm not sure what I can make and what I can't make. Get back here. Oxygen hematic fill, sodium depth. Oxygen filter, and yeah, we'll make that. We, sh we should be able to make. Sodium diode. Oh, we haven't got enough gold. That's annoying. Oh well, let's just kick out another mission. Two potential missions. Um, we got a, a part two one here, balance mission. I'm not sure which one's the more interesting one. Let's go for a balance mission. I should have the deep range for this. Let's send out another support, a trade, an industry. And we'll send a combat ship. And well, we'll send another trade ship just to give them a bit of experience. And we'll use a mineral compressor. And explosive diodes and that will get that mission going let's have a look at yeah I've got I've still got quite a lot of fuel left so let's just get out another mission I mean this is just for the fun of it guys so these are all short range mission voyage of discovery let's go for this one here I don't think I've got anything else I can add to this now. So we'll, get in we'll send one of our new couple of these with us to give them, let them get a bit of experience. These are the ones I bought, was it the last video? <laughs> when I was looking for that mission. Oh yeah, I've got to talk a little bit about that. So what we're going to do is we'll go industrial, put in some combat. Let's send a another trade mission as well no I think this one we're just gonna send out like this um, I think that's about it I think three missions is going to be enough as I'm walking back to the hangar deck I want to talk about something else as well if you watched the previous video I actually accepted a mission to defend a freighter and if you watch that I I think it's because I after accepting the mission, I went back into the space station and because of uh, to get rid of a an attack. Um, and what happened was that the tag for that mission actually disappeared. But what actually happened, guys, is I came in the next day to just to play. I was I wasn't recording or anything. I just came in to do a little bit of gameplay and and just have a bit of fun because it was a bit hot and I didn't fancy doing anything else. And what actually happened was is. Uh, when I left the space station, that mission came up and I was able to do it, but unfortunately I didn't have the recording software running. So it's almost like the mission reset after I'd exited and reloaded. So so obviously there there is a way that you can reset these missions if you want to. You just need to, well, as I say, quit, quit the game, come back in again and leave the space station and then you get a... Oops, I don't know why I did that. Well, I suppose it's a nice save game. Anyway, so let's just get back out here. And I've got absolutely no idea where I am. <laughs> That's the downside when you play off camera. You you tend to play and then you stop where you uh, where you are, and then it's trying to remember where you are, and where you left off. Actually, I've got a feeling. Discoveries. Now it looks like we're actually. Oh, wow, look at this lot. We'll just, just upload all that lot. We've got another 135 nanites. Um, let me just have a quick check. Sorry, I keep jumping in and out of here. Gek systems. We've got 10 gek systems. Two out of ten there. I suppose it doesn't really make any difference which system I go to. I think we're just gonna go to a new system and just see what grabs me. Uh, let me 
me see what should we go for. Let's so it's Corvax. Don't really want to go to that. Don't want to go to a low supply. Let me see. It says there's a Corvax system here. Well, this has got a few planets in, and there's a moon there as well. So I think we'll just go here, guys. Just to see how those missions go and how, what we're going to be doing. Okay, galaxy. Probably do a change of ship actually. I've got an acid planet there, and we've got an unknown moon there. That's a bladed moon. Can't remember what a bladed moon is, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into the space station as usual and see what we can find. And then maybe we will. Oh, I've got some Herox there. Must have been shooting things up. A little bit of gold, a little bit of silver. You can see where all the tritium that I bought. <laughs> I, I got a little bit carried away. I, I was. Uh, it came up on the trading station, and I effectively sat there. And I was just, you know, it's like with the the slider where you just press it and let it build. And I thought I was buying like. It's about 1500 and I think I bought over two and a half thousand uh, tritium so what I and it fit, effectively filled up my inventory and again I think this is one of the downsides when you've got too much uh, you know over the amount of money that you know like I've got a thousand million that the money doesn't seem important anymore and you just kind of lo kind of lose a sense of reality with it and I must admit with, with these types of games I actually really enjoy the survival element. I mean, it's you know, if any of you guys follow my Imperium series, that's one reason why every time there's a new update for Imperium, I always restart. Is it's just that free sense of getting out and surviving, not just being able to say, right, I can bonk down a, a fantastic, cool, cool base, and with all the money and resources I've got, it's just that being on the edge bit that just makes the game more interesting I suppose is there. Uh, use a multi-tool scanner. I scan the desk and find nothing unusual, thank you. We'll do one more. Um, oh, I could have asked for directions, never mind. So we've got the Corvax word for you, thank you. Uh, sell items, let's just get did I use that oxygen filter? Was I being a bit stupid there? Right, we're selling the iridrocyte. I thought I'd sold it. Not sure why I'm walking around with that star bulb. And uh, we'll sell the Herox. Um, and the Lebanon. That's about it, actually. No, I'm not going to buy anything. Right, handed missions. It, here's the mission that I was talking about. I, I thought I'd cashed it in, but you can see that because of that reset, I was able to complete it. So we got 338 nanite clusters from it. And we've got an imp improved our standing with the Mercenaries Guild. But we don't need that. Really, what I want is a great. So. Well, I suppose we're going to have to take those because these are for the Merchants Guild. I think if we take that one, that one, and we've got this mission here, it says deliver an item. So we, we've completed that, we completed that. Let's go for deliver an item and see what it actually is. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Corvax presents me with mission. And they're associated with rewards. Okay, thank you. If we go over there, Tiffy would give me a. I'm going to ask for directions this time. Alien monolith. Mission target is set is 
is in another system. Thank you, game. And it says defense chip. Okay, so it's taking us to another system. Well, I suppose that's the way it goes. We can always come back using the teleporter. I think I've got the fuel for it. So this is a GEC system. Okay, off we go. I suppose these missions are for to get you to travel to new systems. I love the enormous, the enormous metal cog. Locate the secure depot. Um, I didn't scan the planet, so I don't know what we're coming down on. Entering the atmosphere. Oops. I'm gonna go for this platform here. Hold up, it's hooked me back to the other one. Okay, that's good. So we got toxic monsoons with relaxed sentinels and various other stuff. Okay, we got an extreme hazard planet. Okay, that's fun. And looks there. Deliver one enormous cog. Processing success. Yeah, thank you, game. Uh, let's see what we got here. Anything of value? Nope. Yep. Hmm. Trading friend demands sales get help. Well, I'm just going to keep working on the get language soon. We're here. The get word for not. Um, um, touch the data pad. Gives me my biosignature. I'm not sure what the get intends to do it. I'm going to steal my identity. This is the get. Uh, uh, astute traders and a little bit on the crook side. You fade. Because I could have asked for directions again. And, you know, just keep popping in. Attempt to take units. Get a device, it lights up and exchange data, otherwise, nothing seems to have happened. I get this guy, I can't remember now. Never mind. Second time round won't hurt. Pass no. I just don't like those missions, to be honest, guys. Wow, I like that. Well, it's 15 slot for it. Shit. I would just really love for Halo Games to allow us to customise ships. And I'd really love to start and get a, a, a ship that I really like to look and then just spend time upgrading it and preparing it. I mean, that would be really fantastic. Wow, that looks interesting. There's some really nice ships here. That's an 18 slot. Great. Let's grab this while I'm looking at it. Um, I'm just going to make some warp fuel while I'm at it. Just so that I can get that topped up. Well, I've got another antimatter housing. Condensed carbon. I should be able to make another warp fuel then. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure antimatter. Chromic metal, condensed carbon. That means I'm probably going through the condensed carbon quite quickly. Yeah, I probably will need to stop off with my refiners and do some more condensed carbon, but I'll do that off camera, guys. Right there. Got more tritium in here as well. 
I can't remember where I put my ship. There it is. Morning. Right, we've got the mission done. We've got the mission to kill creatures. And I think I've also got missions for predators. Um, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to get up, back up. We're going to return to the mission agent. Because I am really interested in that bladed planet moon. In the system that we've just been in, it's I can't remember what a bladed moon actually is. Um, so I'm, I'm a bit curious to find out what it is. I can almost guarantee that I it is something where I've already visited. But anyway, let's just go in here. I'm just going to drop off here. Okay, I'm just going to quick check. Yeah, so we've got to go to Dristral 16. There's quite a lot of species on that planet. Get into here. And he should cash in his mission here. So he's got hand in mission. 172 nanites. And our standing with the Merchant's Guild has increased, thank you. Browse missions, see if we can pick up anything else. Yeah, kill four Sentinels, we'll, we'll certainly take that. Um, repair a damaged item, kill three Predators. Um, that one's way out, not particularly that interested in that. I. Scan. That is four. I take that because that is a Gek mission. Not that we really need it, if I remember correctly. Take photo of a tropical. I'm just going to take that mission. I'm going to go and re repair a damaged item. Let's check. Gek. Uh, we still got missions for the Gek, haven't we? So let me just get back into here. And I'm just gonna grab that. Where is it? Take a photo of a tropical world. We'll take that. So that should count as a Gek mission. Yep. So if we go and repair an item. That looks like platinum here. Let's just get that mission. Yeah, this is going to take us back to the toxic world. And we've got hostiles coming in, but that's not a problem. Whoops. Coming in a little bit hot and fast there. And there. I'm just going to check my multi tool. Yeah, I had a feeling that was. Oops. Nope. got enough for that we got enough for that we got enough for that that's good always check all of them before you unlock one otherwise you end up using resources and then you won't be able to unlock everything uh, pair devices fully functioning transmit success nice easy mission and I says we can say hello to this guy Designed to put me. It seemed to have a task that requires my help. I'm going to accept that. Um, but um, there's no guarantee I will finish it. 
here. Thank you. So what was that mission? Scan unique creatures. Maybe we can do that. Right, let's, let's top up the protection. We might better get a clip. Yes, I know. There's nothing in here. Well, there is. there's a plant here. Some sulfurine. Well, sulfurine, sulfurine. I can hear creatures. I'm just going to grab that. It's like media. There we are. And of course, well, I know I shouldn't do this, but yeah. the downside of killing creatures is that you uh, another creature there. I'm just going to scan that. Load. Got the mission to kill Sentinel, so it's going to knock out these two. And then, whoops, reload. Right, back into the ship. I'm on the wrong. Yep. Bye bye. And I'm just going to hang around on the surface until that runs out. And I'm just going to throw out a scan, see what's around. What was that mission we're doing? As many creatures as you've discovered on each planet. Haven't discovered on each planet via discovery page. Some creatures only come out at night. So if we go to discoveries on this system, at the moment we've got two out of ten. So if we stay here, we may be able to complete that mission on the single planet. So we're just gonna let that expire. Destroy drones before they alert others. Yes. I mean, I could put down and then, yeah, I mean, that's what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to get here. I'm just going to land here. It's as good as any other place. Yes, I know what. Is that copper? No, it's ammonia. Actually, ammonia could be useful because we are on a toxic planet. So I'm just going to pick up a bit of ammonia. It's not like I'm short of the resources to recharge the terrain manipulator. So I'm just going to pick up this. It's nice, a nice, pretty big deposit as well. There we are. Yeah. Ah yes, it's going to be more than enough. That's it. That back up again, so that. And is there any creatures around? Well, some plants there that need scanning. Okay. Ah. But no creatures. It might. It's not a problem. What we're going to do is the signal booster out. And what are we going to scan for? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
do let's scan for scan secure frequencies see what's around hmm that's not encouraging operation center detected the downside of that it's off planet Oh well. Uh, I want one more creature. Yeah, this is oh, something over there. We've got the so oh there it is. A nice big creature there. Use them. Again, yeah, unique creature, okay. Turn to life form. Oh, how about that for parking? <laughs> we parked on top of a rock. Right, let's just get back and complete this mission. That's going to take seven minutes, so let's just get up into space and hook that. Oops, no, still not up far enough up into space. I actually really like that blue sky with the rings on it. This will probably be another trading station. Yep, here we are. Here's the trading station. Looks like there's another small trading station just over there as well. Quest dialect help. Thank you. Get word for always. Here's the guy who we're going to have to cash the mission in with. Something here. Report success. Jet is exciting and gives me my reward completing the deal. You've got bromide salt. <laughs> Put the bromide in your tea. Quest dialect help. Units. Got the kick word for deflector. Uh, no, I'm, I don't want to do any more missions just at the moment. Let's just get over here. I'm going to grab that just that. We've got another antimatter housing. So just, let's just get in here. I can go to the high capacity. And I'm just going to flat up. Oops, I should have used the batteries because they're just clogging up my inventory. And I've just noticed the time ago, so I think just to finish this video off. What we're going to do is get up to here, get up into space. We've got a manufacturing facility over there, but we're going to have to run the risk of pirates. So what I'm going to do is head for the manufacturing facility. Yeah, it's only a bounty ship, not a problem. Just to see if we can get another formula. came out of nowhere. 
Ooh, okay. Nice. A little bit disconcerting that was. Oh, this could be fun. Oh, there's the landing point. Could even see the landing point. Jump out. So I'm gonna drop that here. Oh, okay. Just gonna grab that. And I must well grab that and drop the the manual save. Here. Port spike my We're gonna have to... for some reason. Blast our way in. Um, I think we got enough time. There's Sentinels looking for us, but that's tough luck. Right, fingers crossed, guys, that we're gonna get ourselves a formula here. If as long as I can answer the question. Temperature acceptable, pressure acceptable, catalyst falling. Industrial manufacturing complex is underway, they're expecting their increased um, Increased catalyst supply. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes, we got a formula for a cryo pump at last. I've actually got a use for the thermic condensate and hot ice. That is going to be very useful. Oh, wow, it would be very useful if I didn't need the mud. If I. So that will open up new manufacturing facilities. Just to. Now that will open up new manufacturing options. Wow. I've got to run it, run it in here. Because we've got the cryo pump here, which I can't really show you because I need to, really need to go and find the Colossus. But what the cryo pump opens up to, if I can find it, if I can remember where it is. Where is it? It's the cryo chamber, stasis device here. And I think it's the cryogenic chamber. Probably haven't got the formula for the cryogenic chamber, probably. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> That's a bit ironic, isn't it? Mm. Oh, there it is, the cryogenic chamber, you can see there. So I can now use living glass with the cryo pump to make a cryogenic chamber, which then will feed onto making the stasis device, which is with 15 million each. And that was, so I've actually managed to plug a key formula in there, which would be very useful. There's sentinels hanging around there. Let's have a quick look at out the back. Oh, these are plants. I really hope that Hello Games put these planters back into base building. They took them out as part of the last update, and it's annoying because, I mean, they, they add a bit of variety to the base, plus they used to be a very good source of carbon. Uh, sulfuring, yeah, well, not that interested. Um, dive in here. What on earth is that? Is that actually... Oh, okay. I know I shouldn't have done it guys but that was too good an option to pass up um, there's the walker brain there it's in the middle look at it ah game you're cheating oh no I've got it
Right, time to get out of here very quickly. Ha ha ha, Yes, I know. I've taken a lot more damage than I should have done. Right, guys, I'm just going to jump up into space because I don't want to hang around here. I've probably done myself a lot of damage. And again, I think this is one of the problems when you get into the mid to late game. You can afford to take chances because you've got so many lives. I mean, there's something I would never have done in permadeath or in the early stages of the game. Right, let's have a quick look at what I've just picked up. Wow. Well, I'm certainly going to need to sort this mess out. But I'll do that off camera, guys. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. What I'll do now is just make my way back to the space station cash those missions in so until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming